All right, we're setting off to Marquette. We're going up to see the UP200. There's supposed to be a lot of snow. So the UP200 is a sled dog race. Should be really cool. Hopefully the weather doesn't make us turn back. If you can see right there, that's the lake next to us and there's basically a whiteout. It's supposed to get snow up in Marquette where we're going. So we'll take our time. This video will be the sled dog race. And then I'll do another video of probably us driving a little bit and stuff around Marquette. So without any further ado, hopefully there's cool sled dog stuff here. Check out these dogs taking them. So in the next video you see, went to Presque Isle and ate a kudigi from Gene K's. Also got a pasty. Next video. He didn't care that the road was closed, no, did he? They might be charging. No. I mean, we'll park on the end here. Yeah. I mean, there's Wisconsin plates here. They're not local people. As long as I don't get stuck there. We're here. GoPro, stop recording. So we got a great parking spot. A lot of people had to walk far to get to this UP200. Let's check it out. They look skinny, don't they? They do. They got a long, cold night ahead of them. <laughs> yeah, they do. And that's where my GoPro died, right on Washington Street. So as it was really cold and we didn't get there super early to stand in the cold, got a spot up on the steps of City Hall, which was pretty good. So it can kind of look down in and all down Washington Street. I have put a lot of effort, sacrificing this, and uh, every time it was bad, I could always, I knew I could go to my messages on Facebook, Instagram, and see the support that I had. When people ask me what a Uber is, I'm like, that guy speaking was Nick Baumgartner, who just won some Olympic gold medals. He's from the Upper Peninsula and won them at the Olympics. Pretty cool.
with my dead GoPro, I learned that my cell phone doesn't do too well at night situations, so the better shots are for my friend's phone. Snuck in just up the street at the start line. And Bailey has also taken his dogs to the Grand Odyssey in the Alps. So these dogs, we don't have any... Correct more 66 miles, mandatory 5 out of 16 hours rest. Correct more to Grand Marais, 48 miles. It's all time up into the UP 200. And we're going to send out Ryan Anderson from St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin here in just a few seconds. Let's get ready to make it some noise for him. Here we go. Yeah, Our countdown is... Awesome. Random pick of the courthouse on the drive out. All right, interesting fact. I get out of the car. I think it's 12, 14 degrees it's now. 14. Okay, we're making turns and whatnot. <laughs> I don't think they plow in Marquette. But anyways, what I was trying to talk about first is, uh, wow, <laughs> this is a mess. Um, it's going to be fun driving. Whoa! <laughs> that guy's sliding. Is he sliding? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Um, got out. The GoPro was 80% battery. I turned it on about 20 minutes later to start recording. Just trying to say to you, I had it at 80%. Went outside, didn't even turn it on. In 20 minutes, went to start recording stuff, and it was at 3%. Lasted about 20 seconds and died. So you didn't get much GoPro footage from there. Now we're driving back from this thing. Man, I don't... It does not look like they really plow in Marquette. Well, the plows might have been busy getting um, Washington oh, Street ready. Oh, that's true. Because first they so. got to plow it, then they got to fill it full of snow, and then they right. got to unfill it full of snow here yep. tomorrow. Yep. So there's the church. It's a pretty church. Going, oh, some people had to walk a long way, didn't they? They did. They aren't smart like you and get us a great parking spot. Yeah. You did awesome. And there's the beautiful up. courthouse. There's my courthouse on the left. Uh, the beautiful courthouse is on your left. Hard I love the courthouse. Oh. Honest, I promise you're going to get to see the sled dogs go by in a second. trying to talk to you but GoPro randomly just decides it's had enough I'm trying to pick my words wisely um, I don't know how much I'm gonna show you because you really can't see very much with the roundabout going back towards south to Lake Michigan I got a feeling it's going to be a little bit better drive back. That's oh, my. I, I'm forever an optimist. optimist. Forever optimist. Yeah. I hope you're right. I hope I am too. Yeah, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be wonderful. That'd be awesome. We just passed the mushers. They're running on uh, the uh, North Country Trail out of town. We're going to try to Look, stop up more. here. We're going to try to stop up here at the visitor center, anyways. There's a lot of people here. I don't know. Go ahead. There's nobody coming. Okay. Oh, so people are here to see the. Good boys. Good boys. Nice. Here comes another team.
don't know if there's any more coming. That guy was closing in. This is my favorite Michigan Visitor Center. You can't overnight, but it's open 24 hours a day, and they have heat and bathrooms, so good tip. <laughs> Go, go, go! I hope you enjoyed the UP 200 and you have a great and wonderful day.